Okay. Okay. We're we're Great. set to go. All right. So I think what we'll do is start to honor the time and the people, and since it will be recorded, we can, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'll I'll start at this point. Um, you ready to go do to follow me, Fran? Yes. Okay. So welcome everybody today. Thank you so much to come for coming to our presentation. I'm Lucena, also known as Wisdom Seeker, the owner of Inspiration Island, the home of the 501c3 nonprofit Ageless Mind Project. I'm here today to do a show and tell with some of the members of a team of gifted collaborators who offer their programs on my sim. Inspiration Island is the home of our group, Whole Brain Health, uh, we are groups, I should say, Whole Brain Health, Community of Creative Elders, and Adventures in Lifelong Learning, all dedicated to helping visitors actively explore an evidence-based lifestyle approach to wellness, especially for people over age 50. Our project is multidimensional. We focus on these five components of well-being that research shows produce a higher quality of life when they're balanced. These are social connection, creativity, cognitive stimulation, self-care, uh, which is diet, exercise, and sleep, and a sense of purpose. So our programs and activities are designed to give participants opportunities to experience the beneficial results of balancing all these five ingredients, as you'll hear from the team. We're also committed to promoting human flourishing by helping people identify and develop their signature or top character strengths. Doing this will deepen their sense of purpose. The Grove of Wisdom challenges visitors to identify their personal strengths and use them in new ways. And they can earn Linden dollars, too, by playing this game with us. We have labyrinths and mazes. The big labyrinth here is one of the many places where we provide cognitive challenges. It's also another place where visitors can try out the different components of well-being and earn Lindens while having fun. Our latest project is an orientation program, or pathway, for newcomers, especially for older ones who are looking for ways to stay healthy, happy, and engaged in life, wherever they're located, whatever the day or time. And isn't that one of the best things about Second Life? Here you see the basic orientation center, which can be accessed from our central landing point or the website, agelessmindproject.org. The blue buddy board is manned by volunteers who are ready to respond for call to calls for help. The second stage of orientation takes place on the multiple intelligence parcel. Newcomers and longtime residents of Second Life will find fascinating challenges at different levels of difficulty here that also learn, earn them lindens. There are the, these are the first two parts of a four-part professional development course called New Frontiers in Aging that I will be offering this summer in Second Life through Rockcliffe University. It's a simple training program for anyone who wants to help mature newcomers come into SL and discover how easy and natural it can be to increase their own well-being here. And here's a rare moment when most of our wonderful team gets together. We got together for a picture. They're the heart of Inspiration Island. Take a look also, I, well, I don't have these lists. I mentioned them because we were not able to get them on the stage today. But if you come to our Lotus, you'll see a list on the pillars there of all our programs. And now I'll pass the baton to Belana. Hi. Uh, I'm Belana Blaze, and I host two events at uh, WBH. As it, been, as it has been said before, WBH on Inspiration Island is about all kinds of interactive activities to stimulate and challenge us at all ages. As I've understood them in the three years that I've been a part of the WBH family, the five ingredients of the whole brain health approach are creativity, social connection, self-care, 
sense of purpose and cognitive challenge. For my own best practices, I would add these sub-ingredients, variety, to stimulate multiple functional areas of the brain with a holistic approach, effort, to take on increasing levels of demand so the task does not get too easy or mundane, novelty, to try new activities to exercise the prefrontal cortex, which is a key area for learning to master new challenges. So my hosted events where I apply these principles are called the Cold Shot Play Readings and the Cold Shot Flash and Dash and Study Buddies. Cold Shot meets the first and third Saturdays of each month for Flash and Dash for writers and playwrights at 11 a.m. SLT. On the second and fourth Saturdays of each month, Cold Shot for Play Readers allows voice actors and voice actor wannabes to come at 11 a.m. SLT and read plays. At Cold Shot for Play Readers, we do cold readings of plays and scenes as a group in open mic because we like spontaneity, improvisation, and group interaction. People who attend like to read or write or they like to perform at open mic events. They might be amateur actors in SL or RL or might even be professional actors in SL or RL. They might be people who have never read aloud in SL before but have thought about doing it. The people who are drawn to cold shot play readings are lovers of all things dramatic, theatrical, and artistic. Cold Shot Flash and Dash for writers and playwrights gives writers an opportunity to compose and or work on short scenes and stage plays. We work exclusively with the Flash Play format, also known as the 10-minute play. This play form is usually a one-act play, most often one scene, and runs approximately 10 minutes. We are presently working on making available some of these audio recordings of the very original Flash plays in the WBH library with a companion IntelliBook of the scripts. Many of the attendees at the Flash and Dash started out with zero experience writing plays, and some with zero experience writing their own literary work. As Maya Angelou would say, they found their path by walking their path. A few more points about cold shot and wellness. Creativity and appreciation of artistic works is a mind-body-spirit activity. Reading aloud coordinates mental processes, key functional areas of the brain, and physical behavior. When we create, we visualize worlds and people and situations internally. We scan, we interpret on the fly, we express ideas and emotions in voice. We use courage to learn by doing and manage our fear of making mistakes. We never master the art of cold reading or flash writing, but we get progressively better and better, tapping into lifelong learning, improving self-efficacy, mental focus, and mental flexibility. At Study Buddies, what we do is try to get back in step. On Mondays and Fridays at 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. SLT, we meet together and try to motivate each other to uh, be productive. It's so easy to get behind in RL when we are in SL. In the spirit of a local group that I belong to in RL, this group is about getting together in SL for study hours. It's a method for writers, readers, students, professionals to work in the company of other writers, readers, students, and professionals on a regular basis to support our efforts to be productive with our RL projects or our SL projects. Some people even park their avatars at study buddies to get routine things done in RL, like laundry, house cleaning, bill paying, or even cleaning that pesky Second Life inventory. Reading, studying, or writing can be an isolating activity. 
the Study Buddies group creates a community of creative people to motivate each other through companionship and co-location. Think about how you feel when you walk into a Starbucks or a local coffee place and see people working. Productivity can be contagious. I want to thank you for your time and attention, and many thanks to Wisdom Seeker for all that she inspires and makes possible. Namaste. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am going to speak for our associate. Ah, great. <laughs> I have to speak today, this is Wisdom Seeker, I have to speak today for Tuya Hines, who is not able to be here today. So I'm going to speak as Tuya, I'll give you her picture, there she is, who thanks you for joining us today. She's Associate Director of Whole Brain Health, and she leads a number of activities here. I'll speak now as her. My pet project is Simply Impossible, where I build and teach how to build useful, fun and useful machines, such as the carousel you see pictured here. All these machines use only native physics with no scripts. Second Life employs a physics engine which generates what I call chaos energy. This can be harnessed to power motors, swings, robots, and I don't even know all the cool applications for it. Simply Impossible is a good fit for whole brain health because it encourages scientific experimentation and problem solving, blending form and function and collaboration. Part of my responsibilities at WBH included developing waypoints, one of which is shown here. These are stations around the sim which give brief courses on esoteric subjects, such as astrocytes, aspen trees, and nutrition. Waypoints illustrate one of our chief goals for Inspiration Island, that its diverse projects and brilliant collaborators develop into a sort of neural network, stimulating, responding, reinforcing, questing for health, beauty, truth, and meaning, both individually and collectively. In 2014, I was promoted to the rank of Prime Maven to lead the Hero Walk. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't move fast enough, okay? There we go. Uh, to lead Hero Walks, pictured here. In this group, we invent and refine techniques for practicing tolerance, courage, self-improvement, and transcendence. Hero Walk was created by Ludo Merritt, over a course of many years. It is based upon the research and writings of Joseph Campbell, author of The Hero's Journey, and others. Together we continue to develop rights and activities which encourage diversity and surpass, surpassing habitual mindsets. The rewards are tangible, immediate, and shared by all. We meet Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. SLT and all are welcome. And I'm going to pass the baton to Fran Francisco. Okay, just give me one second here. Just load it up. I will let I will let Tuya know that you all pa uh, clap for her. She's very bummed out about not being here. Yes. Okay. Hello, I'm Francisco Kuhlhoven, and I'm an Associate Director for Whole Brain Health, along with Tuya. I've been in SL since 2007, and because of my background in computer programming, my favorite activity here is scripting. And I'm just here to help out as needed. Pictured behind me is the Lotus, an organically designed building resembling a lotus flower. This was designed by Tuya, our other associate director. 
It highlights many of the activities going on at Inspiration Island. Also pictured here is the Rainbow Bridge, gifted to us by Hannah Blumid. There are clouds along the pathway containing waypoints, a feature that uh, Lucena mentioned earlier. In the next slide, Kiko Hethroth comes to the Music Cafe each Wednesday to perform with his Native American flutes. And then on the last Tuesday of each month, he also hosts a two and a half hour live event that involves different performers. In the next slide, Arisa Vida, also known as Airy, is a regular contributor of great music here on Inspiration Island. Each Monday at 9 a.m. SLT, he streams in his favorite piano pieces at the gazebo, where everyone is welcome to come and dance or just sit and relax. And in the last slide, the 3D maze is another exciting activity at Inspiration Island. It's a very different challenge, or it's a very difficult challenge, I should say, uh, created by almost their inventor. And he changes the puzzle every Sunday night, both uh, the, pu the puzzle itself as well as the theme of the puzzle. You can view a video of the maze at the address, uh, the address that I've posted there in link in, in chat. And just briefly, as for projects that I've contributed, I have uh, created a navigation HUD that is available from our welcome sign at the landing point. This will let you get around S Inspiration Island quickly and easily and show you the different locations. Also, I've made an elevator that can be used to transport yourself to different points on the sim. Currently, I'm helping out with developing our new orient orientation area. And I'll just mention that I also help out Marley with uh, her sim, which she will describe here shortly. So that's all that I have to say right now, and uh, I will turn it over to the next person. Thank you. I never want to stop the cheering. <laughs> okay, there we have many. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I should have been quiet. Okay. We have many people. Many of our members couldn't be here today, so we're going to tell you a little bit about them. And I'm going to speak uh, about Danny Ballinger. Let me just see if I can give you her picture. Right. Okay. She leads meditation at Inspiration Island Sundays at 9.30 a.m. SLT. Here's what she says in her blog, and there's the link to her blog. This is our practice, to rest our innermost awareness, as the Dalai Lama calls it, our source and true nature, and let the mind of affliction dissolve on its own, as our teachers assure us will happen. The historical Buddha urged us to test such teachings for ourselves. And it's not too difficult to experience this. Of course, as beginners, we need more detailed practice guidelines, and providing these is the purpose of our group. We seek to learn these simple but powerful meditations through our group meetings in Second Life. We also study the writings and online teachings of Tenzin Wangil, Anam Tubton, and other masters. They can truly change our lives. As another teacher we've studied, Locke Kelly says, Waking is not too difficult if you're interested and motivated. It's like learning to read and write. We all have the capacity to awaken. I'm going to pass the baton now to Marley Malena. Marley, go ahead. Hi, I'm Marley Malena, known as Neil and Miller out there. I combine a background in many arts education and training 
group facilitation and humanistic science. Well, I'll wait. <laughs> I'm going to wait till the applause ends. <laughs> <laughs> Dies down, right? <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> okay. So I'm Marley Molina, known as Neela Miller out there. And I combine a background in many arts, uh, in education and training, group facilitation, and humanistic psychology, particularly Gestalt and Jungian modalities. My passions are creative process, community, and interactive education. All of them are important for optimum health and well-being, and that's really what our sim is all about. I've been in Second Life since 2007, and I've developed a novel approach to using the technology available here which makes uses, uh, use of building or drawing symbolic representations of feeling states and ideas. I have three levels on my parcel here. On the first level, the butterfly gallery. I exhibit my art in one wing of the butterfly and focused on visions of self, which is also an occasional workshop I do inviting others to create digital self-portraits. The other wing is for exhibiting other people's artwork. <clears throat> and uh, on the roof, we do something called collaborative sculptures and sometimes create stories from our structures. The second level is my octagon. My group is called Octagon creative exploration. I have periodic uh, salons where people come to share stories about people, places, and cultural artifacts that have had a profound effect on them. And I also teach classes based on creative processes of various kinds. And I run groups in personal growth. The third level is a skybox devoted to the subject area of climate change. We did a big program there uh, where people made builds representing different feeling and ideological positions along the climate change spectrum in order to better understand the field that makes up this so-called social mess. Two guests, one an information map maker an expert on sustainability and other social messes, and the other a psychologist and writer about skill sets needed for the future and dealing with these complex areas. Five avatars did builds, which you can s still see on that plat platform. And we've done uh, uh, two other programs there since then, so there are even additional builds. Anyone's welcome to go there and try making builds based on a chart that's up on the wall there. Uh, in July, I'll be doing a workshop called Visions of Self uh, that I described a little bit before. And please contact uh, Fran for a, a note card that gives more detail about that. It's, it'll be on July 13th. I'd love for some of you to come. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Marley. Marley's finished. If you want, if you want to clap, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so our next member of our group here is Savannah Sunshine, and she's going to talk about her programs. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hi everyone. Um, my name is Savannah. W a warm greetings to all from South Africa. The Sun Vibes project started in April 2013. It is all about openness, creativity and music. The Sun Vibes project has two main angles, music club and our workshop. Uh, our music club, Sun Vibes Planetary J uh, Jive Sessions, explores uh, world cultures through jiving to tunes from all over the world with a focus on Africa and India. Second is our workshop, Sunwise Workshop at Inspiration Island, 
that encourages everyone to start building, put it, putting their dreams and ideas into prim form here in SL, and hopefully this help uh, to turn ideas into RL forms with time. Our club is called Sun Vibes Planetary Jive Sessions. Our jives are dedicated to exploring world cultures through music, enjoying tunes from all over our planet. Through the tunes we learn about stories from different parts of the world, learn about different traditions, dances, musical instruments, musical styles of all kinds, from African desert blues to Bollywood tunes, traditional Indian ragas to Zulu guitar styles, or the Mbalak tunes of Senegal, which I jive to so many different kinds of music in different languages created by different uh, talented artists from all over the world. We also watch uh, as these tunes all mingle, mix together in so many ways, noticing how each culture um, influences the other and how we all influence, teach and learn from each other every day. 10 a.m., yes. Music has always been a great, the great healer of the world. The tunes open the minds and soothe the soul, unite and relax us. Come check out our, um, one of our planetary jives by visiting our site um, and the online calendar of events at sunvibes.blogspot.com. Sunwise Workshop, a building resource center with full per materials and tutorials, classes on request. Uh, free full perm textures, free full perm scripts, uh, full perm objects and freely available building tutorials. Links to online resources and building tutorials. Free fractal images and information on creating your own digital fractal images. Sun Vibes has always been more than just a music project. It aims to promote creativity in any form. The idea is to encourage people to learn new things daily, improve in as many ways as possible, regardless of age or background. The Sunrise uh, Workshop is using building as a tool or a starting point. Sunrise doesn't only teach you building, learning about different cultures while you build, learning about the importance of sharing, learning how to DJ in SL and beyond, learning about fractals. To find out more about the workshop, please visit sunvibes-workshop.blogspot.com. Thank you for listening to the Sun Vibe story and enjoy exploring the projects here at Inspiration Island. <laughs> Excellent, everybody, okay. Okay, Fran, you're going to tell us about dancers, correct? That is correct. Okay. And, um, yeah, the the chat is going to say to you is speaking, but it's actually me. <laughs> so we had to make a few last minute adjustments here. Okay. Uh, Dancers Yao has created a space on Inspiration Island called the Galaxy Language. The goal of this project is to explore how people might share their personal values and beliefs without violence and discrimination. Dancers nonprofit organization, Elder Voices Inc., is working with Whole Brain Health to bring a science fiction adventure to the global community. Magic drums are the means for to communicate across borders imposed by social, national, gender, age, and other differences. 
people can add their own images to the magic drums to answer universal questions. The quest for the galaxy language encourages the expression of personal and community values in real life situations. Come visit the Galaxy Language Community Drum and share your images and ideas. And I think that is all that I had on dancers. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we can move so on now. Yes. Right. To, yes, everybody want to say good applause. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then we're going to move on to you, Ed. Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here at this panel, and really a pleasure to uh, be amongst colleagues like this uh, who are doing so much here in Second Life to better humanity. My name is uh, Ewan Bonham. In real life, I am on the faculty in the Department of Social Work at a state university in Southwest Florida and incidentally uh, just retired last month. Uh, it was my work with students that led to the inspiration for the Community Cultural Hub. The Community Cultural Hub is a, cele has a central teleportation center which allows for easy navigation to a portion of the many community centers in Second Life. This helps students to simplify the use of basic navigation in Second Life. Of course, the Community Cultural Hub can be used by anyone at no cost. The simple and basic instructions for how to use it are also available in note cards in the Hub itself. And an instructed instruction video is easily accessible from there. I'm happy to work with groups who would like better to learn how to use the Community Cultural Hub and thereby Yeah, I should be right back. Okay, we'll wait for him. Since he's our last speaker, I think we should wait for him, okay? If anybody has anything to put into chat while we're waiting for him to return, you can do that now. And uh, any questions or anything like that. Be this box to the uh, right of you in empty chair has materials about our island that you might want to take. Yeah, he's coming back. And there's a subscriber to the Whole Brain Health Group to my left, which will give you uh, notices when we're having events. We also have a calendar, a Google Calendar. You can come to the sim, and I think it might be on the note card in here, too, that you can keep in your own uh, email to know when we're doing things. Yes. Is he back? Okay. Uh, Spran, you want to answer that question about the calendar? Maybe tell people yes. what's in the box? He's not back yes. yet, so. Yes, it is visible on the web. Um, do we have the address of the calendar in, the, in there? I don't know right now what we have. <laughs> uh, we have to look and see. If we're not careful, we'll all be crashing. Fidget said the calendar is visible on the web. Yeah, did, was I, could you hear me a minute ago when I was speaking? No, no. Oh, sorry. Yes, I was okay. saying the same thing. I'm back now. I'll provide oh, the link okay. to the calendar. Shortly. Okay, 
Okay, good. You want to? We waited for you, so. Yeah, I'm sorry. I See. crashed uh, here. I and know. let me just get this my. Is... Uh, yeah. Let me just get my note card back up here. Sure. Take your time. You're our okay. last speaker, so we, we <laughs> certainly can. And we've been just talking, taking care of some business here while you were gone. Okay. Real good. Uh, so just what I, I, I'll just start where I should I begin well, at the beginning? No, here's it's you see in the uh, on the chat the chat when you enter the CCH. Well, I um, yeah, that's where you left off. Okay. Um, I am happy to work with groups who would like better to learn how to use the community cultural hub and also to navigate to various locations throughout Second Life, which might provide themes for uh, group discussion or educational purposes. When you enter the Community Cultural Hub, you will feel somewhat like you're in a library, except the items you can use are in the form of simple posters on the walls. Under the simple categories, of history, spirituality, arts, countries and cities, education, other, and uh, we are working on a section in family communities and role plays. The visitor can simply left click on a poster of their choice. This will give them a note card. The contents of the note card consists of a very short description of the sim and a few of its educational highlights. There is also an embedded landmark. This note card, like all others, goes directly into the person's inventory for further use as needed and becomes very convenient for students and other new persons that are exploring Second Life. If the person wishes to have more information from an interview we did, with a representative of the SIM, they can click on the bookshelf at the end of a category area. There they can select a verbatim interview or a detailed description following a short survey given to the representative. We hope all the above would help the students and others to make an informed decision as to whether they wish to select the exploration of a particular SIM or culture practice, role play, and so forth for uh, their own personal use and for assignments and courses. The expansion of the Community Cultural Hub has happened over the course of approximately three years with the kind assistance of all the SIM representatives who took time out to complete their interviews and give tours and allow themselves to be vetted for inclusion in the Community Cultural Hub. In addition, we have been blessed to have a number of volunteers who have discovered and explored several of the sims showcased in the Community Cultural Hub, and we are open if anybody is interested in continuing to do so. We now have over 100 communities represented in the, in the Community Cultural Hub. To us, a community is a collection of persons who share a common purpose and who are developing a continual linear tradition, which includes, at least, an ambience of surrounding such an architecture, nature, animals, flora, etc. A system of practice including gatherings, traditions, and celebrations. A specific representation of the members to each other and to others who come to visit. An express set of values and beliefs which are the cornerstone to how the sim is built, and run. Very often there is a product which may be a tangible product or an intangible such as a bonding network which result in lasting relationships. This may include friendships, intimacies, comradeship, collegiality, and fun activities. It should be kept in mind that these communities are an expression of the collective conscious mind of those persons who have created them, the origination of those creations, and the desire to evolve and uphold them. This is important for an exploration and study 
of the diversity of communities in Second Life. Such a study is called netnography, a very rich way of opening up the minds and hearts of students who wish to be involved in the study of human behavior. And uh, this then gets translated because there are counterparts in real life, uh, ethnography as it's called. In this way, and, uh, students and other interested parties learn skills of exploration in the minds, hearts, and lifestyles of persons in both Second Life and real life. This is a skill that can be transferred to understanding real life people and cultures and communities, and therefore of formal and personal educational value. The Community Cultural Hub makes such travel and exploration simple so students do not have to spend excessive time in learning the basics of navigation in Second Life. This gives them more time to learn and also makes for an opportunity to have fun in Second Life. If you're interested in helping in the expansion of Community Cultural Hub, please do visit the Community Cultural Hub and we can have a chat. I have also used the Community Cultural Hub in uh, college-level courses for the last three years. Uh, the latest one, uh, last September, was in ethnography, and uh, that uh, uh, developed the exploration of several cultural and community, spiritual and religious hymns, uh, which were then used uh, for information in the classroom to help expand the students' diversity. Uh, currently, I am doing a similar class um, as part of the Adventures in Lifelong Learning through Rockcliffe University. And that course is called Exploring Spirituality-Based Communities Using Second Life. If you are interested in any further information, uh, please see me, and I'd be glad to give you a tour. Thanks a lot. So, <laughs> I love an enthusiastic audience. <laughs> so that, that ends our formal presentation today. If you have comments or Yay. questions that you'd like to put into text chat for people in the group to answer, please do that. And I guess if you wanted to use voice, in fact, to ask a question, you could do that as well. We can hear each other, I believe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you got to love SL for that. I, we, I want to repeat that we are, yes, if people would like, in, the, in our group, would like to put anything into chat to remind people of uh, their sites, that we can do that now so you, people can collect that information. I think we have some of it in the box to the right of Ewan, but I, I'm not sure since we had to sort of make the box up at the last moment here. Um, and I hope, we hope that you'll come and visit our SIM and join our activities. They're on a Google Calendar. And just wander around. People tell us they really like the feel of the place, and that's very a wonderful um, uh, you know, thing for them to tell us. Yes, very okay. good. Any okay, question? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Frank, could you put in the uh, the visions of self? Uh, no card for people, please. Yes, we're having we're having a uh, um, something this in July here. Very yes. Very soon. Uh, What's um, I'm just trying to answer this one question first. Uh, this was uh, the YouTube link was oh it does say does not exist. That was from almost their inventor. I thought I copied it correctly, but I may have made a mistake on it. I think if you come to our sim and go to his area where he has the games, he has the impossible game that nobody can ever win, plus the maze, uh, he has information there. You can pick it up there. 
Yes. Um, yeah. Let's hope. Yeah. Okay. As far as the visions itself, I I can send uh, send everybody a note card for that. Um, I can put it in. I sh we should have put it in the box with the others if it's not already there. It'd be okay if we just gave it to everybody. Yeah, I don't just don't know how to do that in the chat. Uh, I've just sent Fran a, a quick uh, I, note card okay. for her. Okay. Yeah. We can um, give it to everybody, and they can they can get rid of it if they don't want it. But we hope you'll come because it's a very interesting process. It's unique, unique in Second Life, I would say. Right. Yes, and I want to thank who just spoke before here, um, Nikira. I would agree with you. We we agree with you very much that. We're trying very much to inform people. I usually, I, I present on Second Life and what we're doing at many conferences out world, and uh, people are always surprised. We also have a, on my website, Ages Mind Project, we have a little video of what we're doing on our sim that people can just come across and look at. So thank you for saying that. We appreciate that. And we do have... There's links I know for those for the Facebook page for the um, um, oh, wait a second I'm sorry hold on Facebook for our blog and for uh, the Ageless Mind Project we have the URLs for those in the information note card that's included in the yes we're, and we're very proud to be well, part of nonprofit. Not part of nonprofit commons, by the way. Oh, absolutely. We're, we're doing this as uh, as one of the nonprofit commons presentations here at SLB. <laughs> yes, and you must come to the world music dance if you can, because that is you get to, you get to, get to dress up in various kinds of uh, ethnic clothing. And and she provides Sunny provides wonderful music and we all have fun wiggling, as she says. When is it? It's Thursdays at ten AM every week on Inspiration Island on the Sun Vibes workshop area. Come in, we'll TP you for sure. Yeah, she could just grab her name and and she will let you bring you over. Right in the ground level, you can't miss it really. <laughs> Anybody else on our group have anything you want to add or or say? <clears throat> um, I encourage people also to to join people's individual groups. Like I, I have, a, I keep changing or or adding to the kinds of programs I do. They change over time, whereas some stay stable. Uh, so the best way to find out what's going on is to uh, make sure to be in any one of these. Uh, Octagon Creative Exploration is my own group. Uh, Liz and I created the Adventures in Lifelong Learning one together, and we are doing field trips and all different kinds of things with that from time to time, and they change. Um, and uh, actually, we usually send notices out, uh, one for all, all for one, and one for all. So just yeah. as long as you're in one of the groups, you'll, you'll probably get notices for all of them. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, that's true. Did anybody not get a note card about the visions of self? I tried to catch everybody that I saw, but yes, and the, the uh, NPC is going to be here in the same spot on Friday. And I just get confirmation. So tomorrow at nine a.m. Uh, is Zinnia Zaber. So, and then Friday is the uh, Nonprofit Commons panel. 
Is Zinnia going to talk about her super superpowers? Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, okay, that's quite wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we, uh, uh, will there be a, a place, uh, a link to the uh, video that you're making? Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. th that you're going to put in the chat bar? Well, once it's up, I won't know that till after you guys are gone because it sort of stops. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But At least be... two people, our other people yeah. also will be able to, uh, will be able to see what they, you know, that they were here, even if they couldn't be here. <laughs> right. Yeah, just, yeah, just send the link to us when, when she have it. Which is more incentive to join the groups, because then you'll get info about the video. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, that's right. That's right. All right. Well, thank you so much. I guess we're getting close to the end. If anybody has anything in the audience, has anything you're... Uh, you see the nonprofit commons is a closed group. Is that true? Um, the that's the land group. What the one you want to actually join is uh, TechSoup. Yep. So there's Tech two soup. groups. There, TechSoup is uh, so for those who may or may not be familiar, um, TechSoup.org is a website that um, it's a nonprofit that uh, offers. Uh, support and resources and soft free and just much 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 discounted software to nonprofits and they have been um, the host of the nonprofit Commons community since its beginning which goes back to 2006 at least in that sim and earlier before that um, so um, that's uh, so the main group that uh, TechSoup and then Nonprofit Commons is our community, which you know there are is awful is also free offices there, so that's another part of it as well. So a lot of uh, the folks, um, which even Lasena has uh, has space there, a lot of folks have started out uh, with a free office in Nonprofit Commons if they were doing a social good project or or had a nonprofit, and then from there kind of have grown and evolved. So. Yeah, I was going to say that to be sure to let them know to, they can wander around and see. They call their Rhiannon calls them offices, but there are all kinds of amazing builds there mm -hmm. that we all put on. Very, very individual builds. We have a copy of our Lotus from our uh, sim on on the, the nonprofit Commons, and it's a chance to see what all the different organizations that are working together there, which is um, an amazing group of people. They really got me to become a nonprofit when I, after I came in. And also, she's even gotten me into OpenSim. They have an, air, an area in OpenSim that uh, I have a space on, too. So who knows what will happen to you. <laughs> uh, you know, I'd also like to suggest a word of mouth is absolutely the best way to let people know about things that you've heard about that are really interesting to you. So if you are intrigued, sure, sure. intrigued by uh, the kinds of things we do on Inspiration Island, please let your friends and groups know. And uh, any of us are uh, uh, open to being contacted uh, uh, for any additional uh, information or help or whatever at any time. Uh, we also have some mentors. Uh, I want to say yes. Yes, I want to say that, Marley. Marley, I just want to jump in there because okay. I want to, to okay. acknowledge Verita, who is a buddy. We have a buddy board, and people who come in can contact whoever's on the buddy board. And Verita was one of the people who volunteered. They're all volunteers. If you're interested in helping newcomers, contact me. You might become a volunteer, too, that way. Uh, to really provide that kind of personal touch for new people coming in, which, as you know, is a major way to keep people in Second Life. Thanks for remembering that, Marley. Okay, I think we should say goodbye and pick our things up in case a new group is coming in, <laughs> which may be happening behind us, I don't know. Oh, thank you so much, Barry. Thank, thank you all. Verita. Mm -hmm. Verita. Thank you, Marshall, for your comment. Yeah. Everybody, thank you all. Wonderful audience. Yes, we appreciate it very much. Yes, and so we're going to now get up so we can clean, clean our place. <laughs> Bye.
Okay, thank you. Hope to see you on the island.